Let's give a little practice translating from uh, English into sentences. So let's symbolize some of these statements here. I have, the tar pit is open, but the queen is not happy. So I don't see any conditional words in here, so I can just put this in order. The tar pit is open, is P, but is a word for and, okay, so I want the conjunction. The queen is not happy, is the negation of the queen is happy, so not Q. So this statement is P and not Q. Okay, my and got a little, little wavy there. We want it to be pretty straight. So P and not Q is how it would symbolize the tar pit is open, but the queen is not happy. Okay, if Rusty is ready, then the tar pit is open and the queen is not happy. Notice that I have conditional words here, so I just have to make sure, is this one of the ones that switches the order? If then is my normal one, so it is the correct order, so I can just start going here. So I have, Rusty is ready, is the statement R. I have an if then around it, so I'm going to have an arrow following. So really that arrow should be over here. I'll just erase everything. That'll make it clear what I'm trying to say. So I should have an arrow here. There we go. The tar pit is open. Let's see, the tar pit is open is the statement P. And is a conjunction. The queen is not happy. The queen is not happy is the negation of Q. So let's see if we can put it all together here. If Rusty is ready, R, then, need my arrow, the tar pit is open, P, and, it's a conjunction, the queen is not happy, not Q. Wow, I got dyslexic on you for a second there, sorry. Queen is not happy should be not Q. So if R, then, P, and not Q. If I just need to symbolize this statement, that's fine, okay? If R, then, P, and not Q. If I'm going to do something like make a truth table out of this, which is what we'll cover here soon, uh, it can be helpful just for my understanding and recollection to put parentheses here. Remember, conjunction is stronger than conditional, so this would actually be the same as that. All right? Writing if R, then P, and not Q is the same as writing if R, then parentheses P, and not Q. Okay, how about the next one? Rusty is ready if and only if the queen is happy or the tar pits are not open. Note the comma, note the if and only if. If and only if it's a biconditional, so I don't need to worry about any strange order. I'm just good to go. Rusty is ready, R. If and only if, biconditional. The queen is happy, Q, which goes that way, okay, or it's disjunction, so I want this guy. Finally, the tar pits are not open. Tar pits are open is P, so I want not P. So all in all, I have Rusty is ready, if and only if, the queen is happy, or the tar pits are not open. This time, it is incorrect to not have parentheses because the way I have this written, it looks like P or Q or not P go together. However, my statement said these go together because I have the comma after them. So in fact, I need parentheses and I need them here. This has to be uh, R if and only if Q in parentheses and then or not P. Okay, great. It is necessary for the tar pits to not be open for Rusty to be ready. Okay, let's, let's tease out our pieces here first, but that looks like one of those weird ones. So the tar pits to not be open is not P. Rusty to be ready is R. So I know in my head this is either going to be if not P, then R, or if R, then not P. And the way that I can figure that out 
is I go back to this little picture in my head, okay? I've got my antecedent, my arrow, my consequent. On the top, I have only if. Underneath antecedent, I have sufficient. And underneath consequent, I have necessary. So when I look at this statement, it says it is necessary. That's going to come second. Mm -hmm. Things that are necessary come second. So not P, change this to black, not P is going to be here, and R is going to be here. This statement is symbolized and has the same meaning as if R, then not P. So notice, this is one of those ones that changes the directions. I can't just put it down. The only time I need to worry about the order uh, for symbolizing is if I have a conditional. If I have an if-then or one of its various forms, I just need to make sure I'm writing it in the correct order. Okay, just one more. I've got the queen is happy only if Rusty is ready or the tar pit is not open. So the queen is happy. Yes, she is. Only if, as I recall, only if is what I had over that arrow. So that must go that way. Rusty is ready. Rusty is ready. R. Or, the disjunction, the tar pit is not open. Not open. Not P. So to me, this looks like if Q, then R or not P. Again, if I'm just symbolizing, that's good enough. If I'm going to now do anything with this, I want to remember my order of operations and remember that this is the same as if Q, then R or not P because the disjunction is higher up on the order of operations than the conditional.